Well, hello again. This video will be of uh, the engine's first full run. Uh, this was videoed uh, sometime in November, and uh, a couple of friends were able to come by and help me spot and keep an eye on things. So we got, rolled it out in the driveway, and we got it started and running, and you'll see what takes place from there. Been, um, it was pretty exciting. <laughs> uh, kind of... Um, you know intimidating to a degree when it starts and you just don't know what it's going to do or for sure uh, but everything went well and uh, some of the smoke that you'll see coming off the hot hot section outside of the case is just oil and probably different i don't know stuff has been spilled on it maybe it's been sitting around for a while the engine had not ran for quite a few years i believe not sure but anyway it all the smoke quits after that oil burns off and you'll see uh, I think everything went pretty well uh, I've been learning a few things as I go like any other project uh, you learn as you experiment and develop uh, a little more knowledge and one thing I didn't really realize is there is a uh, drain on the fuel cutoff valve that allows excess fuel that's still in the fuel manifold and line that feeds the manifold uh, to drain and if that was not connected and it had a plug in fact in it so that obviously fuel wouldn't drain on the ground or but nevertheless the fuel would slowly drain into the inside of the engine so that would make smoke and a residual fire inside the uh, combustion chamber area so you'll notice that after I shut it down I turned the starter back on a couple of times and really what that was to do was just to blow air through there uh, no spark or no additional fuel to blow out the fire and cool the engine down well uh, I since I've added a drain line a return line back to the fuel tank so that when it shut off the fuel that does drain goes right back to the tank and the other side of that is you don't have that excess fuel left in the engine so uh, you'll see right off the bat some results of that when I shut it off. Uh, I got a couple of different camera angles so we'll have a couple of clips uh, one showing you know a front and one sort of rear side view so you get to see a nice uh, fire from the jet pipe when it starts and other than that hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching. Fuel pump? Mm -hmm. I can't even hear it. You hear the fuel pump? Here's something. All right, stand by.
we go. Uh, my first jet engine run. Um, it was interesting. It was exciting. A little intimidating. Um, I'm thankful uh, for my friends, um, my assistants there, Fran and Bruce, and they were uh, help keep an eye on things. Uh, Mr. Fire Extinguisher was sitting there. Um, he was there. Luckily, didn't need him. Neighbor across the street made an appearance. And he was fairly in intrigued. So anyhow, um, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I got some other engine runs that I've that we've done in our video that I need to uh, edit and get on YouTube also. So uh, over the next week or two or so, maybe I can be getting these up uploaded. I've been telling some people about them. So people out there on um, the Jato blog, that's uh, J-A-T-O, that's how that's spelled. It is not Jet Assisted Takeoff. Uh, it really stands for Jet and Turbine Owners. Uh, so basically, people that work on them as professionals and then, you know, idiots like me who uh, have a mechanical inclination and like to read books uh, as a hobbyist experimenter all kind of can share some information there there are a few other people out there with these j44s and if there's anybody else out there it's got one um, by all means please uh, comment or uh, if you got some video get it on YouTube uh, there I haven't really seen any but one j44 video so uh, it's very short and uh, that's, I think that fella is um, in the process of getting that engine going or running. So anyway, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this and thanks again Agent Jay-Z for all your knowledge and uh, your video efforts. They've uh, learned me a lot. So stay tuned to this channel and I'll have some more. Uh, but anyway. I appreciate it, and thanks for watching.